All right, let's go ahead and uh, try to pick up you know, some positive momentum here because right now we're kind of struggling. Maybe we're really going to have to try hard here, which I don't enjoy doing. Maybe we can go for a flank. All right, there you go. Just got to get a little bit of momentum here. Yeah, I'm going to save my UAV, my precious little UAV. I don't think I've seen where these guys were spawning in from. All right, there we go. That's what I wanted to do, man. And here he is. He's going to be spawning back in. All right. That takes care of that. Let's get this UAV going. All right, perfect. Let's rotate around this a little bit wider here. They're going to be coming this way anyway. All right. Nope. Nice try, though. I might be in trouble here. It's all about the element of confusion. I got nine. Oh, my gosh. I swear, so much concentration is really needed in this game, which I don't mind, obviously. But, you know, just to make the videos a little bit more entertaining, I wish I could, uh, you know, just be a little bit more animated. Dude, I really like these iron sights. These iron sights are pretty nice. Definitely well, uh, well, well worth the, uh, the grind for sure. But yeah, who would have thought, man? Who would have thought that this NZ is so much better without a magazine? Because, you know, if you put on any magazines, it's going to ruin, you know, your damage profiles, obviously. It's going to ruin the whole experience of the TTK and all that stuff. Bro, the fact that I can get all the way up here is just insane. Like right here. I got a good, nice little bird's eye view. All right, I'm going to drop down. Just keep going for kills here. See him on that mini map. Here he comes. Easy money. Let's reload. He's going to be coming around here. I'm actually just going to wait. Let him come to me. Actually, you know what? We got to push. Wait, right behind me. Let's go, baby. Come through these doors. All right, teammates going that way. I'll look this way. Uh, okay. I was about to say, man, when is this guy going to die? And he finally did, even after I died. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of weird, weird stuff right now. All right, you know what? Let's do this. Is he going to challenge? Nope. There you go. That's what I like to see right there. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, teammate, please get him. All right, let's try and catch up now. We really got to catch up like 100%. You know, with the whole skill-based matchmaking and all that stuff, it, it's really difficult to win games if you're a solo player as well. So you kind of just have to do what you can. I mean, do what makes you happy. You know what I'm saying? Way too easy. Hold up, hold up. What? Yo, I'm really, oh my gosh, dude. I'm really getting rusty here, man. I really thought that the game was still going on. Okay, that was literally my bad. Wasn't paying attention to the score. Yeah, I totally could have used my flame knot. I'm pretty upset about that, man. We first, let's see who gets the MVP. Come on, big money, big money. Let's go, of course. Gotta vote for myself here. Definitely no bias. Oh, man. We're looking at a three-way tie here. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Whatever. All right, and welcome back. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy that gameplay, but this is the most important portion of the video because I want to talk about some of the attachments and how they affect the overall performance of the gun. So, pretty much, I do my own testing. You know, it's rather easy, and all you got to do is go into a private match, you know, use different attachments, see how many shots it takes to kill, you know, and then you got to do the whole calculations with the fire rate and stuff like that. So, if you guys are curious, you know, where I get my data from, I do it all by myself. So, uh, for the NZ41, here we have our TTK here, and I tried to put a little uh, quote unquote heat map just so you guys can, you know, direct your attention to what is going to be killing the fastest here. So, obviously, we have the incendiary plus the recoil booster. So, what this is going to do is it's going to make it a two shot kill plus a little bit more fire rate. So, that's ultimately going to bring that TTK down. So, the lower your TTK is, obviously, the better it's going to be. And also, you have to account for the amount of shots it takes to kill. That's also very important. So, here we have that listed over here on the side. So, really quickly, let's go through it. 
through it really fast. Uh, three shots for the base with no attachments at all. Uh, not too bad, actually. This is actually the same base TTK as the Volk, as you see here. And that was actually going to be my previous video. If you guys didn't see that one, make sure to check that out for the stats on that. Now, so it takes three shots with the base NZ41. So that probably explains why the fire rate is not that high on the NZ41, just to balance it out a little bit. So it's got really high damage at 40 damage per shot. So obviously that's going to result in three shots to kill. Now, if you put on the recoil booster, you got your TTK. It goes down to 228 from 240. And then here's where it gets interesting. So with the NZ41, I was assuming that the damage mag or whatever it offered is going to help us, you know, kill our opponents a lot faster. However, that's not the case. The magazines on this gun actually reduce your damage. And here we have the eight millimeter clouser and your TTK goes up to 300 milliseconds. So that's actually worse than the base as well as the Sakura at 279, which is obviously not that bad, but still, you know, why would you want to make your setup a little bit worse by putting on a magazine? So I tried something here. So I thought maybe, okay, if I super increase the fire rate uh, by putting the Sakura plus the recoil, uh, Clauser plus the recoil, et cetera, et cetera, maybe having an insane fire rate is going to help the gun kill a lot faster. Uh, you know, that, that's obviously not the case here because it's still slower than the base as well as just the, the recoil booster. If you just have the recoil booster, here's the TTKs that you get. And uh, here's where it gets a little bit interesting. We got two shots and this is the game changer, the incendiary. All you need is the incendiary right here. Uh, you get 120 millisecond time to kill and then 114 with the recoil booster. So I also tried the incendiary plus the recoil booster plus the Sakura and the Clouser. So this is the result that you get. So it's actually really not that bad. You know, if you want to go this route, uh, I would probably opt for the uh, three shot kill incendiary recoil booster plus Sakura for that 174 millisecond time to kill. Uh, the only reason why I would go for this is if I would like, you know, just a little bit more emphasis on magazine size. That's pretty much it. But other than that, you know, 30 rounds is sufficient enough. And uh, you are going to get an insane TTK of 120 millisecond time to kill, you know, versus this, because this is a pretty drastic change right here from 174 to 120. Whereas, you know, if we're going to put the incendiary plus recoil booster, it's 114 to 120. Not really that drastic of a change. Not going to notice it at all. So I'd rather put incendiary plus the mercury silencer. So uh, that is just it for the stat portion of the video. Again, I do these tests so that you guys can have some sort of reference of what type of attachments will affect the gun's performance and what is going to be the most optimal for you guys to use. So uh, now let's go ahead and check out the full build. All right, and welcome back to the gunsmith. So let's go ahead and talk about this class setup. So for the muzzle, we're rocking with the mercury silencer. So I was actually really in debate with myself if I wanted to use the recoil booster. But as you guys saw in the stats, uh, the recoil booster, you know, the TTK, yes, is a little bit faster, but it is going to ruin your accuracy. And uh, like I said, the TTK is just a little bit faster. And I mean that literally. So it really doesn't make any sense to be putting this on if it doesn't really affect your TTK dramatically. Uh, that's why I'd rather have the Mercury Silencer. It's just going to keep me off the minimap. So obviously that's important to staying alive and being stealthy. Now for the barrel, this one was a really easy choice here. So typically we see barrels that do add, you know, some fire rate or something like that. But in the case of the NZ41, uh, I, just, I was just looking for something that helped control the recoil. So the Orb Weaver 360 millimeter BC is going to be my choice here. And the burst, I tried this out. You know, that burst delay is really hideous, but you can get a one burst kill if you use this attachment. However, the problem is you're going to have to be super accurate because if you're not accurate, obviously knowing the, the fast TTK in this game, you're going to die rather quickly. So it's really not worth using if you're not as accurate as possible with this attachment. And that burst delay is absolutely hideous. So I would stay away from that at all costs. Now for the optic, this one is really nice. So I'm really usually not an optic guy. Normally I would just opt for the, uh, you know, the iron sides, the base iron sides, or, you know, I would go with something like the G16 2.5, which was really nice. I like that as well. Uh, this is also a nice little choice here if you want a little bit more recoil control. But for the setup alone, you don't really need too much recoil control. But I really like the Ravenwood mid iron number one, as you guys saw in the gameplay. It is a really nice iron side and also does include uh, faster aim down side time. Now for the stock, we're going to be using the Orb Weaver Elite. You do have another choice here. Uh, you could use the Orb Weaver Pack. Now this is going to help you control the recoil with accuracy, flinch resistance, etc. But the drawback is that it's going to make you a lot slower. Now with the Orb Weaver Elite, I like the fact that it does help out with that recoil control, mainly because the horizontal is what we're trying to control here. So I want to bring that down just a little bit as much as we can. And the Orb Weaver does just that with very minimal cons compared to the Orb Weaver Pack. Now next up, we have Pro 
proficiency. You can use literally whatever you want to here. It's all personal preference. So, you know, you don't have to copy this if you don't need to. Kit, I'm going to be using fully loaded. Rear grip, we're going to be using the stippled grip. And the ammo type is going to be incendiary. So this is essential to this class setup. If you want to go ahead and optimize it as much as possible, kill your enemies as fast as possible. But keep in mind, this is only going to be effective up to a certain range. Also, it does reduce your bullet velocity. So you have to keep that in mind. It's best to use up close to medium to, you know, uh, maybe borderline long range gunfights, you know, but no cross map stuff. You're not going to get the two shot kill cross map, but up close you will, which is definitely worth it, especially with the kind of maps that they have here. Under barrel, we're going to be using the M1941 hand stop. Now for the rest of my class setup, don't really bother too much with the secondary. Uh, you know, you can use whatever you want to here. Perks are going to be ghost forward, Intel scavenger, gammon bomb and stim shot. You, really, you can use whatever you want to here. This is all personal preference, but you can copy mine if you want to. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. You found it helpful, informational, somewhat some shape or form or whatever they say. And uh, yeah, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe and like the video if you did find it helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yo, if you guys are always on your computer all day or you like to game for long sessions, definitely check out GamerAdvantage.com for these blue light blocking glasses, quite literally the best blue light glasses that you can ever find on the market. Make sure to check out GamerAdvantage.com and just learn more about it, man. There's so many benefits to keeping your eyes nice and healthy. You won't feel that strain at the end of the day and you'll go to sleep like a baby at the end of the day and that's the best part. You won't feel tired at all. Definitely check out GamerAdvantage.com. Use code TURBO at checkout.